All right, listen, Lizzo is tired of y'all body shaming her and harassing her on social media. The singer posted her concerns on Twitter and wrote, y'all don't know how close I be to giving up on everyone and quitting and enjoying my money and my man on a fucking farm. She also said the love definitely does not outweigh the hate on social media, all because I'm fat. This is crazy and I hate it here. Do y'all think celebrities should stop listening to the trolls on social media? Funky, let's go to you. They absolutely should. I say this all the time. It's the price. You live a very privileged life. Public scrutiny is the price for that privileged life. And here's the thing, Lizzo, you can't have it both ways. You can't use your body as a gimmick for popularity and then get mad when people critique you. Kelly Price is overweight. Um, there, uh, there's a lot of people in the business. Amber Riley's overweight and went out on the internet every day calling her fat. You led with your body. You led with your body, and then now you don't want the heat from it anymore. You did this. I feel no sympathy whatsoever mm -hmm. for Lizzo. Suck it up. I, I got to just say something. There's a parallel to me with the last story in this. We're supposed to celebrate someone and say, I'm non-gender conforming. But then a woman that's fat, that you're saying, don't lead with that. People are leading with sexuality now, too. I feel like whatever people lead with, that's what they that's their thing, right? So if we're gonna give grace to one group, why are we why are we like shitting on like Lizzo? Your because arm, your, because... your, your, sho your shoulder should be broke right now from how far you just reached. I'm not <laughs> your, 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 whole, your whole shoulder right here on this side. I, I think what I say you you reach, you girl, you reach. No, because I think you're a lot of times it's very hostile to fat black women on this show. But then we're supposed to be very careful uh, about celebrating a man that wants to be living in truth wearing nail polish. Wait, wait, wait. I, Did you say we're hostile to fat black women on this show? Uh, sometimes the tone can be, you've seen the comments. You've seen the comments. We're, we know, we, we kind of poke joke. We poke fun a lot. And I'm and I'm going to throw myself in there. I'm going to throw myself in there. We are. Well, this is, this is my take here, Claudia. Listen. Lizzo has been in the game for 12 years, okay? And the narrative has been the same for all 12 years. Lizzo, this is no longer healthy for you. You have to use cognitive um, exercises to protect yourself emotionally and mentally. One of them is turn off your comments on Instagram. If it's still bothering you to read them, turn them off. You have the ability to do that. You also have the ability to unfollow blogs so that you don't have to read this stuff. You have to protect yourself mentally and emotionally. Listen, woman, you're worth $40 million. You have four Grammys. You have a number one show on Amazon called Big Girls. You have, uh, what, two two number one hits you have undergarments yitty for oversized women you sold out worldwide you sold millions of records I, 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 come on like if you have a problem with the comments protect yourself from it stop reading them that's what i had to do or if you have a problem with your weight get the band <laughs>